come on in, come on in. Grab your drink, your coffee, your tea, your soda, your juice, your snack, your veggie sticks, your carrots, whatever it is. And let's reminisce on the good old days, right? Because this channel is preserving a lot of those good old days. And before I get into it, as always, please take a second to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it as we zero in on 600 subscribers. That is a, a cool milestone. So is 200,000 views. So they're all worthwhile milestones to achieve. Anyway, do you remember now if, uh, I know the way I'm going to structure this. I'll get some kind of, what do they call it? It's not a copyright strike, but I'm going to put the theme song because it's an iconic theme song to me at least for Casper. And I do remember watching the syndicated Casper cartoons. And who didn't love Casper? And really, let's face it, they made the animated Casper movies. I think they made more than one too. Didn't they make like two or three of them. So Casper has endured, you know, and why? It's because he is the friendliest ghost you know, as the song tells you. The grown-ups don't understand, but the children all love him so. Anyway, and uh, by the way, if you're a monster collector, right, who wouldn't want a ghost figure? Because that's right, this is a monster toy also. So let's start with this cool box. I have seen the toy uh, from time to time loose, but rarely with the box. And I love the box. And, and you know, it just depicts them just like the cartoon. Now, this bottom flap came off. I have it on the side there. So and this top flap is loose, but I'm going to show you anyway. So here is your original Alain Mar Best by Far. And you can see here, if I get it in frame there, Harvey Famous Comics. And it was also Harvey Films, too. And that would have been on the intro that I had. So hopefully they didn't copyright strike this out of existence. I don't care if they get the revenue for it. You know, like when you utilize these songs and right away somebody makes a claim. It's usually like, I, not MGM, but something, you know, I don't know, Sony and and uh, whatever, BMG. They, no matter what you put, like with some kind of, even if it's in the public domain, they're like, we're going to copyright strike it and then you make the best of it, <laughs> you know. But I don't, I don't care. Let them get the money off it. As long as they leave it up. Anyway, so this is a mechanical Casper. One of the many Linemar toys. Do you have all of them? See, they re, they, they kind of rephrase the wording as it, as it got a little later. So anyway, that's your cool. And it's very plain, and it's just how I like. Nice blue. Nice, subtle blue. Matches his beautiful blue eyes. Ghostly blue eyes. And... Uh, against the white background. It makes him the most striking that he's going to be. Now, anyway, as far as the toy, um, the toy is what I call like a combination hopper and bobblehead. So let's call him a hobble because that's what he does. He's, he's kind of got a like sort of a hopping mechanism, but it sticks, so it's not going to work good. And look, is this the freaking smallest wheel in existence on a toy. This is a wheel. It looks like a tiny bead. It spins. Um, now I looked under here, if I wasn't gonna pack this toy, I might try to shoot some lube under there and see if I could get him to go a little better. But being that I'm gonna pack him, I don't wanna oil him up, you know? The last thing I want is oil coming out, ruining my other items. So anyway, he is a wind up. And like I said, because his head is loose, because, you know, if you look at like, say the Jetsons uh, robot and stuff, they don't really have the bobble head. They're just one molded piece. But Casper has kind of got that creepy, big head vibe, ghostly thing going <laughs> like that. Keep shaking. So let me wind him up and show you what I'm talking about. Because he's he'll go only a little bit. And then I'll show you how I have to unwind him. So right now he's at maximum wound. You see that and how he stopped? But that's the action, right? So you get that nice head moving. Now, what you do to unwind, it won't unwind the traditional way. So I would have to like click this. You see how that key is uh, going? Which is fine because at least I could unwind them without really like breaking, jamming, stripping a gear. So you'd keep doing that. 
And eventually the key stops and you know that, hey, I got to the end, but you can watch his head bobble up now. Is that the way to do it, Casper? Radio. <laughs> yeah, so it stopped now. But anyway, that's your Casper. And like I said, for me, picture him next to the haunted, Hooten Hollow Haunted House, the spooky trees, Sam the Strolling Skeletons. Hopefully I'll find Sally the Strolling Skeleton by then. And then you got a Casper or two. You know, I'm happy with one box. So if I found a couple more of these loose, cheap, cheapies, you know what I mean? Like, they're just great decorations if you're making a monster setup, especially of the Japanese vintage tin, you know? So that's why. Uh, and, I, and I dug the cartoon, too, as a kid. So, you know, it's it multiple crossover appeal for me. It's character. It's monster. It's tin. It's, you know, Japanese. All that stuff. All that crossover stuff is great. So anyway, that's your Casper. Well, mechanical Casper, the friendly ghost. And uh, if you like it, you know, I'll... I'll I'll leave it at this. And by the way, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Too bad they didn't make like a battery version bigger with light up eyes. With that, it would have been like completely off the hook. Man, I don't know. I thought, oh, when I think about stuff like that with some of these toys, they uh, missed a, a golden opportunity. Man, that would have been so freaking cool. But anyway, with that, again, appreciate your time. Don't forget to subscribe, please, if you enjoyed this and you like these coolest of uh, toys anywhere on the internet, bar none. And uh, leave a remark and thumb up the video with that. Uh, appreciate your time again, and I will talk to you later.